Mark chapter 4. The disciples are on a boat with Jesus, and he's fast asleep while a storm comes and starts to rage against their ship. The disciples are in full-on panic mode. They don't know what else to do. So they wake up Jesus, and they say, don't you even care that we're going to perish? And then we pick up in verse 39, it says, and he, being Jesus, got up and rebuked the wind and sea, and said to the sea, Hush, be still. And the wind died down, and it became perfectly calm. And then what happens next in verse 40 is very interesting. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? They became very much afraid and said to one another, who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? The first time we see the word afraid here, why are you afraid? Jesus is asking them, why are you timid? Why are you allowing your lack of faith to drive your fear? But the second time we see it mentioned in verse 41, it says, they became very much afraid. It's not that their fear increased. It's that their awe of him increased. It's actually two different Greek words. The first time it means timid. The second time it means to be in awe of or to reverence. What was driving the fear inside of them is quickly turned into a reverence or an awe in the fear of the Lord when they behold what Jesus is doing right in front of them. And then this question is posed. They said to one another, who then is this? that even the wind and the sea obey him. We see that they were moved from fear to fear, but it's not the same kind. From being scared to being in absolute awe and wonder at the power and the authority that the Lord walks in. Let him move you from fear to fear today. A fear of the unknown and being scared of what you can't control into an awe and wonder of who he is and what he's doing in our midst. God bless you guys.